so uh, I guess this Sunday morning we're going to a top secret fishing spot. Sometimes they bite like crazy and sometimes they're not there at all. It's a uh, Mulberry, Mulberry River. It's the beginning of it, but I'm not going to say where. Uh, it looks like a creek when it starts out, but if you keep following it, I don't know how many miles it goes, but it goes through multiple counties. It gets, it turns into a river. And that's just a little bit you need to know. Uh, if you want to know any more, then you have to look into it. But that, Sipsy Fork and Locust Fork, create the Black Warrior River. And those are some of my favorite fishing spots. So, I'm going to the beginning of it, which is just about a mile and a half or two by my house. And uh, we'll be there in just a second. Uh, grab a tackle box. And I'm going to grab my little fluger. The tiny. When I'm playing four pound test, the only thing I have ever seen in here and most any of these places is just brim bluegill some fish you know just brim in general and alabama spotted creek bass or whatever they're called the bass get pretty big and they're fun to catch that's about it and it's down there and that's where i'm going to take y'all we're going to see if they're in their spot today they just growed up bad I think people mostly ride four wheelers and ride horses down here. I'm not no right shoes to be wearing around these kind of places. I couldn't find no blue jeans clean to wear today, so I put on shorts and the only thing I got besides these flip flops are well boots. And I'm not wearing boots and shorts. Just looking for snakes right now. There goes a turtle. We're gonna come out here. We're gonna toss this thing around a couple times. Let me get my rod and reel ready. I ain't got a chest mount yet, so I just gotta do with what I got. You can say this is my hidden Sunday fishing spot I like to come to, but best thing to do in these kind of creeks. Well, this is actually a river, but I mean it's a creek. It gets way big past that down there. But the setup I'm using, just a float, little split shot, swivel, and that's four pound line on a four pound leader, about a half a foot long. Just a, a bait hook with a whole worm. And if they're in here, they smell that worm and they start coming. Let's see if I can make a couple of throws. Still watching out for them snakes. You just get down here. And it's growed up. Believe it or not, I need to bring a weed eater, weed eater down here. Did you see what I just did? I just threw it all the way across. We don't want that. But yeah, just let it sit right there. It's hard to do this with one hand. But I will be getting them out soon or making one. We just let it set. I'm not saying the only bait to use in a creek is worms. Crickets do good too. Hardle fish or lures. I would not use them. But uh, in my opinion, worms is the absolutely best bait for brim that and crickets but in a creek like this worms hands down the best in my area we're coming on down here because if you can see where that tree is way on over there that's uh usually the hole they stay in but it's growed up bad and i'm trying not to get snake bit I see them in here. They're swimming around. I just tossed it in. It ain't been a minute when I'm done bit my lure. Had one on there. It got off. I might need to change hooks. This one's bent from trout fishing yesterday. I had a trout swallow. You can see down there. There's a whole 
school of them coming up. And they done got my worm. That's the thing about creek fishing and creeks that are clear like this. You can see them way on downstream. But what's happening right now is they got my worm, my hook's bent, and my floater decided to sink. So we're going to change gear a little bit. We're going to grab all these. Now I've got my new worm on and my rig set back up the way it should have been. I didn't know that floater was bad and that hook. I still ain't changed it but they've done went in the hiding i know this is probably shaky and crappy but i'm doing the best of what i got now that extra split shot i should have took off has weighed it down now i'm showing you things not to do but you know what we got one so maybe i am doing it right now this is a little bitty one right here. Look how small he is. This is the smallest one I've got out of here before. Yeah, he's just a baby. He's gonna go right back in. We're gonna set up and do another cast. Still. I think I'm trying to show y'all how to do this. The thing is, just don't use as many weights as I've got. One of those has got to come off. Just use a little tiny split shot, a little float, and I use a size 6 bait hook. And walk down the creek till you see minnows or any kind of fish, and you found them. Because in creeks, they're spaced out. And as fast as I just threw that in there, I don't know if y'all can see it on camera. There's about four or five of them comes up and looks at that thing. Every once in a while, if they ain't wanting to bite, just sort of reel it back to you, show you, show them that that worm's alive, and let it set. So when you're fishing for creeks, I showed you how to set it up. Just a little float, little split shot. Just a little bitty leader. You can buy those a dollar a pack. And what I mostly use, I'll catch most anything, is a size 6 bait hook. Just your ordinary, everyday fishing stuff that you do for your kids. You do it in this. Because there ain't no real big fish in here. No complicating stuff. And they're all starving to death and hungry. So, But artificial lures, I wouldn't do it. And like I said, if you want to find them, you come down here to uh, the bank and you walk around. And as soon as you see minnows, as soon as you see minnows or one little fish, you pretty much found them all. For that like whole, like a mile stretch down the creek, they'll all be in that one spot. They just school up because they're fish. I think I kind of spooked them out here talking so much and jarring everything around. Now places like this, you're gonna get hung up, so just be prepared. It happens to the best of us. Mm. Now another setup you can do is you take your four pound line on your rod and reel and put the float. Instead of putting a split shot, put a tiny, small little bullet weight. I don't really know what ounce this is or whatever you call it, but it's the smallest one I could almost find. Little swivel with more four pound liter about half a foot to a foot long and size six bait hook with a whole worm on it i just double or triple hook the worm so they can't mostly grab it sometimes but 
The reason for this and not a split shot is because split shot, sometimes they slide and they tear up your line in these rocky places. I just broke off in a bush. And you know, some most of the time, if it ain't your hook getting hung up, it's uh, your weight. So the thing with these is they've got this little bullet weight, you know, they slide. They don't stay in one place and they don't tear up your line. So I've learned to use those around rocky areas. But I think I see the fish coming back that I scared off because I stayed quiet. Picked this back up. And we're going to make a few more throws and get some because they're all over in that spot. The fish are over there because I see them. I just think they're a little spooked because that happens sometimes. We just want to just float around right here. If I didn't mention what I was using, I, I have showed it in my videos like a year ago, but it's a Fluger Tryon four pound line. And it's a four and a half foot ugly stick. The old antique ones with cork handles. And that's the way I like them. You don't want to use anything over four and a half or five foot long out on a creek like this growed up this bad because what will happen is you won't have room to cast or move or anything so go with the shortest lightest tackle you always can because majority of the time you're only going to catch small fish and i just hooked into another one this one seems like it's a little bit better decent size there's no way to get down on the bank without falling it's so steep let's see what we got here i'm telling you this this kind of method right here works every time when you can find them yeah here he is this little old sunfish but yeah he ain't big enough to keep and we're looking for food I gotta get that hook out of his mouth. It looks like he almost swallowed it. I've got to show you all the colors on this one. Look at that. This almost looks like it belongs in the ocean. Yeah, if you do it this way, you lose count in just a few minutes how, you, how many of them you catch. Can't promise you the size on them, but. It jumped out of my hand. I'm gonna throw them back in. One thing you'll wanna notice, if you're in a spot like this, when you throw and catch one on this side, they'll all run a few feet down. So you'll have to go back and forth. Catch one here, cast in there. It only does that sometimes, but not all the time. But that's another thing. If you quit getting bots, just throw 50 feet the other way. We're going to throw in here and see if we can grab another one. And then I guess we'll be done today. Well, I got this little tiny one. And uh, I'm going to throw them back in. And the big ones just ain't wanting to bite. Somehow I'm watching them. The little ones out running the big ones, but I might set out here and try another one. But I, I might leave, I don't know. But uh, I came down here with intentions to making a video and getting enough for supper tonight. But I just ain't none in here big enough to eat, not right now. But that's just because I'm in the wrong spot, but I'm still having fun catching them. But yeah another thing when you bring worms 
I got that tackle box with the cooler built in, or bring your cooler or whatever. You, especially out here in the spring and summer, them worms will die fast and quit wiggling if they get hot. I mean, they quit wiggling if they're ice cold too, but you just need them in the right temperature with the ice pack and keep them things cool. A can of worms lasts you a long time. I've got three cans right now, and they'll last me a couple months if I take it easy on them. Yeah, crickets are fine too, but my, my choice is worms. But thanks for watching, guys, and uh, please subscribe if you ain't. And uh, keep back in check here to see more videos. Hopefully, I'll get better and better at doing this. I know it's rough watching, but I hope you learned something today. See y'all.